Hi guys, welcome to Engineers YouTube channel and today we're going to continue our board exam refresher course for general engineering. No? So ngayon nandito na tayo sa ating set B and for our set B we're going to focus on differential equations particularly in the application of differential equations in chemical solutions. Okay, so although we mentioned here that this is a board exam refresher, this is actually applicable or best. Hindi lang sa engineering students that is preparing for board exam. So we're going to tick that. But this is also best for engineering students currently studying differential equations. So hindi lang siya sa mga magtitake ng board exam, pero sa mga engineering students din natin that currently studying differential equations. Okay, so para lang maging mas madali para sa mga engineering students natin who will be taking the board exam, uh, we created several test papers no, or documents na pwede ninyong sagutan para ma-check ninyo kung hanggang saan na yung nalalaman ninyo for your review. Okay, so as I said, meron tayong test paper for this set ng ating reviewer. No? So uh, you will find... Itong link sa description ng ating video dito sa ating YouTube channel o sa ating Facebook page or makikita nyo rin siya sa comment section. So, you can download itong PDF file ng ating set B. And then of course, katulad ng ginawa natin sa set A natin, after you download yung PDF file, you can try solving the problems. And then later on, sasagutan natin isa-isa yung mga problems doon sa succeeding videos natin. Okay, so ano ba yung mga pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating set B, no? ano yung re natin for differential equation. As I said, this is an application of differential equation in chemical solutions. So, ito yung example ng illustration natin. No? Because ito yung usual na may encounter ninyo when you are solving chemical solutions in differential equations. Okay, so as you can see, yung setup natin dito, meron tayo ditong tank containing our solution. And then, pag a tayo ng solution dito sa ating tank, usually, ang makikita ninyo, it is a brine solution, which means this is a solution of water and salt. Okay, then this will be well mixed. So, ibig sabihin, habang inahalo natin yung ating brine solution here, this is well mixed. And then, the resulting solution is also going out on this stream. So, basically, the concentration of our mixed solution is the same as the solution in our tank at a given time t. Okay? So, we are adding solution here at certain rate no, and concentration. So, habang nadadagdagan ng brine solution itong ating solution sa tank, our concentration is changing with time. No? So, what are the cases that we will be encountering na pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating review? So, Sa ating first case, uh, we have fresh water which is initially inside the tank. Okay, so itong solution natin are, is just fresh water. No? Wala kang salt dito na present initially. Okay, so this is just fresh water dito sa ating case 1. Okay, so let me write that para hindi na tayo malito. No? So dito, fresh water lang yung laman niya initially. Then, magdadagdag tayo ng brine solution. As I said, this is a mixture of water and salt. So, at a given concentration, so usually this is in kilograms per liter or sometimes newtons per liter. No? Depende sa problem na may encounter ninyo. And this is going inside sa ating tank or being added dito sa ating tank at a certain volumetric flow rate. No? So, let's say this is our V1. And this is charged dito sa ating tank at a rate, uh, na given rate na may unit na liters per minute. Okay, so, or liter per hour, no? depende sa problem natin. Then, again, this is well steered para maging uniform yung ating solution dito. And then, meron tayong consider na time dito. No? So, gano'ng katagal kasi uh, hindi naman siya isang add lang. Nandito na lahat ng brine solution natin. So, we are adding our brine solution at this rate, no? yung ating volumetric flow rate 1. So, every time, so this is charged every minute, so we can say at certain time, nagbabago-bago yung ating concentration dito. No? Now, 
this uh, mixture or this solution is taken out here on this stream. So, meron din tayong concentration dito. So, concentration B which will be in kilogram per liter as well or newton per liter. And this is changing per time, no? Because this is the same concentration na nandito sa ating tank. And of course, lumalabas din siya at certain volumetric flow rate. So, hindi laging pareho yan. Minsan, mas mataas yung V1 kaysa sa V2. Minsan naman, mas mataas yung V2 kaysa sa V1, no? So, you have to consider that sa ating mga problem. So, this is the typical na may encounter natin dito, no? sa ating problem. So, this will be the case 1. So, ano naman yung case 2? Sabi natin dito sa ating case 2, uh, our tank already has a salt solution initially. So, meron na tayo ditong salt initially sa ating tank. So, brine na rin itong ating tank. Okay? So, we have here salt at a certain percentage. No? So, given na yan dito sa ating case 2. So, this is also well steered. So, pumapasok yung ating brine here at certain concentration, kilogram per liter, and volumetric flow rate, liter per minute. So, meron din tayo um, variable na time. And then, yung mixed solution natin will be the same, the concentration ng ating tank, which is CB, kilogram per liter. And then, our volumetric flow rate here will be liter per minute. Okay? So, that will be our case number 2. Meron na tayong solution dito sa ating tank initially. No? Meron na kagad siyang salt. Now, what is case 3? So, dito sa ating case 3, uh, the tank already has salt solution initially and with unknown concentration. So, dito sa ating case 2, uh, meron na tayo ditong salt initially sa ating um, tank. Okay, so initially may salt na siya, pero known yung kanyang concentration. Dito naman sa case 3, meron din tayo ditong salt. Okay, pero hindi natin alam yung percentage or yung concentration niya dito sa ating uh, container initially. No? So of course, meron din tayo ditong initial concentration, which is in kilogram per liter. Our volumetric flow rate. May time element then, And then, um, concentration B, kilogram per liter. So, this is again well steered. And then, our volumetric flow rate, okay, coming out. Okay? So, yan yung three cases na makikita natin sa mga problems na ibibigay natin sa case or sa ating set B ng reviewer for engineering board exam, no? Okay, so sabi natin, this is an application okay, of differential equations in chemical solutions. So, ibig sabihin, na pag aralan na natin yung differential equation, i-apply lang natin siya no, in this case dito sa chemical solutions. So, ano yung madalas na may encounter natin na topic sa differential equation uh, na magiging involved dito sa ating application dito. So, when you are dealing with chemical solutions, mas madalas ninyong may encounter is yung linear differential equation of the first order. Okay? So, kaya dito sa ating test paper, we will be solving linear differential equation of first order bago, na, bago tayo mag-solve ng mga application for chemical solutions. No? Kailangan, masagutan muna natin yung test paper natin about linear differential equation of the first order. Okay? So, paano ba to, no? So, since this is just a review and uh, this is already an application so I suppose dapat na-review na natin ito. Pero pag-aaralan natin siya ngayon. So ito yung general uh, equation no? for linear differential equation of the first order. So kapag ka ganito yung uh, itsura ng ating equation, that means we can apply this linear differential equation of the first order. So, tatandaan lang natin, we have dy dx here. So, we are taking uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. Then, we have p and y here. So, tandaan natin, this is our variable y in here. Okay? And p and q on the other side is a function of x or a constant. Okay? Basta 
meron kang dy over dx here and you have the variable y here p can be a constant or also an expression which is a function of x okay ng ating uh, denominator here okay so to write that properly we have dy over dx plus p which is a function of x times y is equal to q which is a function of x. So, paano ba yung steps na sinusunod natin in solving linear differential equation of the first order? So, ito yung mga steps na susundin natin. Una, we have to compute for the integrating factor. So, kapag ginagamit natin ito, okay, itong, or if we are solving linear differential equation of the first order, meron tayong ginagamit na integrating factor. And our integrating factor is this one. No? We have here the uh, e, raised to the integral of p dx. Okay, so yan ang ating integrating factor. So anyway, we're going to solve a sample problem now para ma-review na natin siya. No? Then after we solve for the integrating factor, we have to multiply both sides by the integrating factor. Okay, so meron tayo ditong left side and right side. So we're going to multiply the left side and the right side with the integrating factor. And we have to take note that the left member, itong left member, of the equation is just always y, itong ating variable y, multiplied to the integrating factor. So, yung naging sagot mo sa ating integrating factor here will just be multiplied to y sa ating left side ng equation. Now, for the right side of the equation, you have to take the integral of q. Okay, we're going to take the integral of q multiplied to the integrating factor. No? So, yan yung gagawin natin dito. Okay, so now let us solve itong sample problem natin dito. So we have dy over dx minus y over x is equal to 2 ln x. Okay, so as you can see, kapareho nito yung ating general equation dito. No? So what we have to do is to identify alin yung ating p and alin yung ating q. Okay, so we have dy over dx minus y over x is equal to 2 ln x. So we can identify p in here as equal to negative 1 over x. And we can identify q from here as itong nasa right side ng ating equation which is 2 ln x. Diba? Alright, so now sundin natin yung steps natin in solving for the linear differential equation of the first order. Sabi natin dito we have to compute for the integrating factor. So to solve for the integrating factor, meron tayong e raised to the integral of p dx. So we have e raised to the integral of p dx. Okay? So, alam natin yung value ng p. We just need to substitute that. So we have e raised to the integral of p, which is 1 over x. So I'm sorry, this is negative 1 over x. Okay? Because negative tayo dito. Ang ating general equation is positive. No? So, it has to be negative. Okay? So, let me correct that. So we have negative 1 over x dx. Okay? So that means, para lang mas maging malinaw, this is e, the integral of negative dx over x. Okay? So we know that the integral of negative um, dx over x is e to the negative ln of x. So the integral of dx over x is ln x. Okay? Now, just simplify this. Uh, using our laws of natural logarithm. So we have e to the ln x to the negative 1. Okay, then again, applying yung ating rules in logarithm, we know that e to the ln x to the negative 1 is just equal to x raised to negative 1 or 1 over x. Okay, so our integrating factor, which is e to the integral of p dx is just equal to 1 over x. Okay? So, yan yung ating integrating factor. Now, our next step is to multiply both sides by the integrating factor. Kung saan yung left side natin, we will just be multiplying that with y, sabi natin dito. No? Now, in the right side, we have to multiply yung integrating factor natin dito sa right side. And we're going to take the integral of that. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, sabi natin sa left side, it will just be our integrating factor which is 1 over x multiplied to y. Okay? So, yun yung ating second step. And then, 
sa right side is we're going to take the integral of our integrating factor 1 over x multiplied sa right side ng ating equation which is 2 ln x. So we have 2 ln x here. So we have 2 ln x. Okay, so we're going to solve for the integral of that. So ilalabas lang natin yung 2. So we have 2 the integral of ln x over x. Then, of course, we have dx in here now. So, hindi natin pwedeng makalimutan yan. Alright, so, we know that the solution here will be, we have ln x and the derivative of ln x is dx over x, which is this one. No? So, we have 2, the integral of ln x times dx over x. So, ganyan yan para mas madali nating ma-visualize. So, therefore, uh, magiging sagot natin dito is, so let me remove this para di tayo malito. So, we know that uh, we have 1 over x times y will be equal to um, 2 multiplied to the integral of ln x dx over x will just be equal to ln squared x. Because we will have a denominator of 2, so therefore our 2 will be cancelled out. Plus C, no? Because this is an indefinite integral. Alright? So simplify lang natin yung ating equation. Multiplying both sides by x, we have y is equal to x ln squared x plus C x. Okay? So this is our final answer in here, no? Okay, so na-review na natin yung ating linear differential equation of the first order. So, yan yung gagamitin natin dito sa set P ng ating review for general engineering. Okay, so it's time now to download yung ating test paper and start solving the problem. Okay, so that's all for now guys. Thank you very much and have a nice day.